Hey everyone, got a collaboration video that I think you'll enjoy today. This one requires a voiceover, so I'll mix in some music when we don't do the talking. We've done concrete block tests in the past. The wound channel and the chopping block have done them as well. Definitely have interesting results, but there's no concrete way, see what I did there, of telling whether or not a round actually can penetrate both sides of the concrete block. We've tested M80 and P80 black tip in the past, and it's always near impossible to know what's going on. Here was even the video from the M80A1, and the results of both sides still penetrating are still cloudy. Enter AIMED Research. AIMED Research offers high-speed camera rentals, among other imagery services. They're located out of Ohio and offer quite the camera selection, from budget-minded to the ultimate and high-speed cameras. Our setup for today's test are 308 threats against our concrete block filmed with the Phantom. These were shot on-site at AIM Research's facility. 22-inch barrel was used. Up first is some M963, or what would be the equivalent to M80 ball. A little hard to discern, but it looks like the bullet takes significant damage entering the first side. I can kind of see some fragments leaving the second side. Velocity is calculated on the video as 2800 feet per second. Those copper fragments that I can see shining were traveling at around 471 feet per second. Now the MK319, which is a 130 grain open tip match, velocity is listed at 29.59, can definitely see Speedy's helping here. I can make out what looks like to be the base of the bullet traveling through the debris, and that is going around 312 feet per second. time to get interesting. P80 black tip. Impact velocity of 2765 feet per second. Look at the steel core zip through both sides. Exit velocity is still 2200 feet per second. So basically don't use concrete block wall to protect you against this threat. Finally, here's the M80A1. Velocity was low, not sure if this was undercharged a little, but the video we were only seeing around 2800 feet per second. Normally we see 3000 from a 22 inch barrel. Watch the bullet yaw upwards after the first side. Now watch as both the copper core exits, there's some jagged fragments in there too, then followed by the steel tip. Exit velocity was 650 feet per second from the core and around 300 feet, feet per second from the steel tip.
you all found the video entertaining. I try to keep the clips short because, I mean, who wants to watch 20 minutes of slow motion? If you're interested in high-speed camera rentals, definitely check out AIM Research. Links will be posted in the description below. Future videos are planned with some armor penetration and perhaps some gel shots as well. Stay tuned. Take it easy, everybody.